Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the bi weekly contest 113 minimum away length after pair removal. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drum in this court. Let me know what you think about this poem. So, this one I actually end up spending about four minutes, a lot of it doing testing. Um, because I did it with a kind of a special logic and we can go through it. But the way that I want to bring up is that in retrospect and looking kind of like at the contest times, um, I probably should have done it with with a heap, right? Um, in, the, in a greedy way, what you always want to do is... Um, oh yeah, what you always want to do is to greedily remove the most frequent number, right? I think the way that this is structured is, um, to be honest, it kind of confused me a little bit because this was already sorted um, and I had to take an extra second to kind of think about it. But basically, uh, this basically means nothing because you can actually remove any two indexes. It doesn't, you know, there's no, because it is sorted, there's no case in which this is true, but this is not true. That's just by definition. So that that's a little bit confusing and actually got me a little bit. Um, the reading is a little bit tricky. But otherwise, yeah, you can just kind of remove the most common element uh, or the most co two common elements and then just keep on doing a heap that way. And we did that way. Uh, I mean, the code is going to be very similar, but it's just easier to prove. Um, but for me, I did it kind of a logic. Um, I, I did it with the frequency table. Um, so there are really only two cases. One is if the most common element is greater than the, the half of the the um, half of the array, right? And that's basically what this is saying here. And if that's the case, then the number of elements you have left over is just going to be your most common element, and then the rest of the stuff, right? Meaning if you have one element that's the most common, you're just going to always that's going to be in every pair, every operation that you do. So then you just kind of match it that way, ideally. Otherwise, if it's odd number, or sorry, otherwise, if it's less than half, then you could get rid of pretty much everything. The only thing that you can get rid of, of course, is that if it has an odd number, and this is why you have n over 2. And this is pretty, um, pretty quick to write, but to be honest, during the virtual contest, I took a little bit of time to prove it. And even after that, I, I was worried about edge cases, so I kind of did a lot of testing, and you could see the live portion of it. I think this is why the heap part would be way uh, useful, is because then you can just write way simple code, and you know, it obviously it also is a little bit slower because instead of O of n, which this is, um, that's going to be n log n, but but all you're optimizing for is the solve time, right? During a contest, of course, during a during a interview, you know, it may be a little bit different. <laughs> But yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Definitely try to solve it both ways. Let me know what you think. And yeah, you can watch me solve it live during the virtual contest now. I've been really sad. I feel like there's been so much, so many gotchas lately that wouldn't have been surprising. Choose two indexes i and j such that i is less than j such that. I is this. okay. It's sorted already, so okay. What? It's already sorted. <laughs> oh, but they could be equal. I see. <clears throat> And it could, and it's actually not symmetric, the answer, because you could have like, you could have a, like one, 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 and then a bunch of answers and that would even out. But if you have like one, two, three, four, five, and then like six, well, it's not a six, 
like this, then I don't know, that still evens out. So, okay. So the answer is going to be either 1 or 0. Right? Well, except for, um, okay, so. Uh, can I hit the equal button? <laughs> um, okay. And then. So then, uh, what was it? Uh, if and you want to think about the idea and stuff, okay. If do -do 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 -do. If it's less than half, then we can just return n by two, I think. Mm, is that right? I think this is right, but I, uh, it's hard to think about the edge cases about odd and so so. Okay, so let's say we have two, right? five. That's fine. Okay, that's actually fine. Uh, and then maybe one more. Six, okay. Maybe one more, one more on the other one. And then um, maybe um, probably before experience I should be more practiced about this bit. Just spending a lot of time testing. All right, let's just YOLO it. That'd be very sad if I'm still missing. Okay, still get a wrong answer after the, the testing is, would be the worst part. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest uh, and the problems and everything in between. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.